Okay, so today's lecture is about uh, we are going to discuss uh, KVL by Kramer's rule. In the previous lecture, we have discussed KVL by loop analysis, uh, but we today in our lecture uh, today lecture about KVL through Kramer rules. Uh, in Kramer, the, uh, the circuit is given in which there are almost five resistors and three voltage sources. Uh, below there is R11, R12, R1, R1, R13. Uh, it's simply we can uh, th uh, this these values are going to be used further, but before that, uh, I'm going to explain how these values come. R11 basically means uh, resistance in the first loop. Uh, that is, the, there are uh, two resistance in the first loop, that is R1 and R2. The values, we are going to put the values and the R1 becomes 5 ohm. R12 means uh, the, the, the common between the loop, loop 1 and loop 2. So basically, there is one common uh, resistor in the loop 1 and loop 2, that is R2. Uh, and the value we will put uh, that in negative. Okay, uh, R13. The, the common between R13, there is no common uh, resistor between R1 and uh, uh, loop 1 and loop 3, so therefore it becomes 0. R21 uh, is equals to uh, R21 equals to R12. Basically, I have written wrong there, it's R, R21 equals to R12, uh, and it equals to R2 because in R1 uh, in, uh, in loop 1 and loop 2, there are, loop 2, there are only there is only one resistor. Uh, common and that is R2 and we are going to uh, put the value of uh, that resistor but with a negative sign okay in the R2 to this means the all the resistors uh, resistor in the second loop putting that values and the answer becomes 11 uh, ohm R23 means the the difference uh, the, the sorry the um, the common uh, resistor between the two, uh, two loops that is an R2 and R2 that is R4 uh, its value is 5 ohm, but we are going to add in the uh, in uh, the negative sign and it becomes minus 5. And R3, R1 uh, equals to R13 is also 0. R32 uh, equals to R23, it is R4 equals to minus 5 ohm. And R33, there are uh, two resistors that is R4 and R5, putting the values as it becomes uh, 11 ohm. Okay, so now uh, V1 equals to 10 volt, V2 equals to minus 5 volt, and V3 equals to minus 5 volts. Uh, that comes from minus 10 plus 5 okay how it uh, comes uh, uh, going uh, again to the circuit that uh, i have given uh, in that circuit the v1 is uh, simply 10 volt it is simple in v2 how it become it was 5 volts so then how it become minus 5 it is simple the current direction is from positive to negative if the uh, uh, so is going yeah, yeah, it's from positive to negative uh, means the, the current is uh, flowing oppositely uh, so for that reason uh, it becomes minus uh, and in V3 there are uh, uh, that is third loop there are basically two voltage sources uh, E2 and uh, uh, E3 so according to the current direction it uh, uh, the current f flows from positive to negative it becomes minus 10 volt and uh, moving towards 5 volt uh, which becomes mine uh, and and through that uh, source it moves from negative to uh, negative to towards positive so for that reason it becomes plus 5 so minus 10 plus 5 it, it becomes minus 5 volt For, uh, okay now going towards the towards the sets um, my 5 minus 2 minus 0 minus 2 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 11 that comes from the r11 r12 r3 it all, uh, it all uh, comes from the, the, those values i1 r3 i i2 and r3 we are going to find that and 10 minus 5 minus uh, minus 5 these are the values of v1 v2 and v3 Okay, so now solving the matrix uh, that contains the 5 minus 2 minus 2 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 11. That's quite simple. Uh, we're going to take 5 uh, from the first in first row uh, and first column, uh, cutting the, 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 the elements of the first row and first column becomes 11 minus 5 minus 5 and 11. After that, uh, as per rules, uh, starting from the, the first uh, positive, then the next one uh, going to be negative. So negative into minus 2. Uh, and uh, taking a first column and second row so cutting the elements for first col uh, column and second row so the elements that uh, remain that is minus 2 minus 5 0 11 uh, and plus uh, 0 uh, cutting the elements of first uh, column and third row and the elements that uh, remain that is minus 2 11 0 or in minus 5 Okay, so after that, uh, the, the mistress has become uh, 11, uh, multiply with 11, it becomes 20, uh, 21, and uh, 25 with 25, it be, uh, 5 with 5, it becomes 25. Uh, the negative sign is uh, that uh, as per grammar's rule. After that, plus 2 into, it becomes 11, multiply 11, and 0, uh, multiply by uh, minus 5, so it becomes uh, 0. After that, plus 0, uh, because... Uh, 
zero multiplying with n it becomes zero so zero multiplying with that matrix is become zero uh, then uh, 120 uh, 1 minus uh, 25 it becomes 96 and minus 22 plus 0 it becomes uh, minus 22 multiplying these it becomes 480 minus 44 and the answer comes to be 436 uh, okay so now uh, finding the value of i1 i2 and r3 so for uh, first of all we are going to find the value of i1 i1 equals to we are giving, uh, giving the sample uh, name it can be anyone but we are, uh, here we are giving a delvin uh, for example the matrices uh, name could be delvin divided by 436 as per Kramer's rule okay how this matrix comes uh, del 1 you know uh, th uh, the the voltage that is uh, 10 minus 5 minus 5 that is going to re be replaced by the matrix 1 containing 5 minus 2 these terms so 10 minus 5 minus 5 is going to be replaced by the first uh, column uh, of that matrix and the remaining elements would uh, be same that would be remain same so replacing uh, that with that uh, with the first uh, column it comes to 10 minus 5 minus 5 minus 2 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 11 divided by 4 36 so when we are going to solve first of all the delvin that uh, that is delvin matters that is 10 minus 5 minus 5 minus 2 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 11 and the answer that come that would be divided by 4 36 okay so now solving the delvin and the answer comes to be 800 that the solution is as follows uh, first row first uh, column and after that uh, first row uh, first column uh, second row that uh, first column third row expanding these and the other answer comes to be 800 okay so as del1 has been found it and the value of del1 is 800 so uh, as we know that i1 equals to del1 divided by 436 uh, uh, 800 divided by 436 and the answer comes to one entry so the value of i1 is 1.83 ampere very similarly so for i2 and i3 uh, del2 will uh, in uh, the del, uh, in that case uh, 10 minus 5 minus 5 going to replace of, uh, with the second column of the matrix that has been mentioned earlier and in the case of i3 uh, the 10 minus 5 minus 5 column going to be replaced with the third column of that matrix uh, solving these matrices and uh, what the answer come and divided by 436 so that going to be the value of i2 and i3 Okay, so okay, so after solution of that matrices, the answer comes to be of del two it uh, becomes minus 180, and of del three it becomes minus 20 for the values, and uh, for i two it comes 0 0.4 uh, minus 0 0.41 ampere, and for i three it becomes 0 minus 0 0.64. Uh, that uh, the minus 180 and minus 20 uh, given the matrices is spicy. I do it as uh, per del one method. It is quite simple. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.